Jeopardy <laughs> champion who won close to $300,000. Of course, the answer is, who is Arthur Chu, the great one? The daily double seeking trigger buzzer fingering fellow is here now to tell us how he became one of the biggest, one of the most controversial winners in the game's history. But first, let's take a look back at his amazing run. Last night, the reign of Arthur Chu as the mastermind Jeopardy champion ended. It's going to cost you 6400 dropping you to zero. As one of the most successful runs in Jeopardy history ended. An 11-game winning streak during which Chu raked in close to $300,000. Arthur's game once again. But from the very beginning, this rather polarizing contestant stirred some controversy with his unorthodox strategy. Who is Dr. Moreau? But this strategy, other than knowing a lot about a lot, well, the tactics are simple. Tactic number one, what are daily doubles? Chu went straight for the higher numbers, hunting for those big money makers. Tactic number two, what is the forest bounce? Reddit, 1,000. My regards, 2,000. Named after a former contestant, it means bouncing from category to category, hoping to throw off opponents. And tactic number three, what is the buzzer system? Really the important one. Get buzzed in first. But after a few missteps. What is the two penny opera? No. Nope. Even this most extraordinary thing had to come to an end. David Chu. <laughs> Arthur Chu, sorry. Arthur Chu. Arthur, Arthur, Chu. Arthur on, it was compulsively watchable, your stand. Thank you. And for uh, really the reasons we just stated, this unconventional strategy of yours, but uh -huh. this is something that you actually did a lot of research right. into. Right, right. Um, I spent a lot of time, well, it wasn't a lot of time, because I had 30 days between being called and knowing I was going to be on the show. So I went online, and you know, there's a, a huge community yeah. of Jeopardy fans, past Jeopardy champions, who just talk about this stuff, just sit around and um, discuss the games as they come on every night and you immerse yourself in that culture and you find out about strategies like that you know and you just put together the pieces well and he sort of paid off almost 300 grand how'd your family react to that well my mom was really happy she was there you know watching all of my games because she lives in la um i called my wife and i said i have some disappointing news i have some bad news i'm gonna have to you know take another day off work and fly out here again and she was <laughs> she actually got her for a second so it was great. she said she almost fainted you know? have you thought about how you'll spend the money um I've, I've thought about it the main thing is you know i don't want to do anything crazy or stupid you know i've been very strategic so far so i want to be strategic in the future but um, i talked to my wife we do want to go um, to china she's never been and i want to see relatives i haven't seen for a very long time and um you know um maybe start thinking about buying a house in the future. There so you go. Um, I do want to, we are in fact going to be joined by another great Jeopardy champion right now. Uh, he had a, a message for you. Okay. Uh, so uh, do we have that? Hi, Arthur. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is me, Ken Jennings. I just wanted to say you have nothing to be ashamed of. Congratulations. You were on the show for a long time. You were on the show for, you were on the show for how many games? For 11 games? <laughs> We're on the show for 11, 11 games. <laughs> 11. 11? I do 11 like before lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, and I, I wonder as well, I walk you back into the social square. But somebody like Ken Jennings was, he, he loomed for you. That was a, yes, you know, yes. I know that was a guy that motivated you as you were pushing along. Uh -huh. We're gonna walk him in and I know you've been, again, we also wanna point out, it is not easy taking these questions live here. <laughs> You're doing a great uh, job. In the moment. That's all right. but, uh, what do you say we give that another poll? All right. It's GMA Jeopardy time. <laughs> All right. And these are all from viewers, remember. This is not something that you could study for. The category is playwrights. This Irish-born playwright is the only one to win an Oscar and Nobel Prize for literature. I will need the answer in the form of a question. Who is George Bernard Shaw? Oh. oh yeah. Who is yeah. George Bernard Shaw? Seems like a quick answer. I'm hoping it is. Otherwise, I'll... There you go. Yep. Oh. Oh. The one, the only. Back. Arthur, seriously, congratulations. Thank congratulations. you. Thank you for playing Thank in the you. social square.